What's going on everybody? Well, guess what? This video right here, unfortunately I was at June 1st, it was July 17th when I go back to it. And unfortunately, calling a call back, don't know if I caused it, don't know if I didn't, kind of sucks. But check the video out and you'll see what I mean by, I maybe my fault, maybe not. Part was fine when I was there last time though, but hey. It is what it is, unfortunately. It sucks when these happen, but it's a part of the business. You can't predict what's gonna happen a month and a half after you've been there. Unfortunately, the system may be at the end of its life. Let's check it out. It's pretty old. Second failure this summer. So, let's see what's happening. I heard the compressor was starting and stopping, so I had them unplug the disconnect for me. So this way, it wouldn't be overheated. Let me open up the control, see what's going on. Okay, 516. I know a lot of people like, never ever turn it off until you're ready to work on it, but I don't believe in that. I'll find the problem, even if it is off. Okay. Cap does not look too bad. No power, let's verify. Meter, hopefully, there at the bottom. Always at the bottom, hiding under everything. Let's verify no power coming out it's not blowing the breaker though zero zero okay so Whew. looks a little oily A little strange. But I'm not feeling. It's got that darker color. But no. You know what I'm saying? Like, strange. Let me make sure the cap is good before I try to start this. And then we'll see. Take it from there, one at a time. Probably needs a start capacitor, but we will find out. But the fan runs from what I was told, and no compressor, so. I'll disconnect everything, why not? Take it out. Let's see how it's supposed to be, it's a 40. Erm and C. Ooh, bad cap. Uh, can't believe it. This cap I put in last year. Usually I put turbos all the time and I actually put the right one in. This is what I get for not doing a turbo. One, four, seven. Let me go grab a cap. All right, so. One thing I didn't do, or I don't know if I did or didn't before I went, let me just make sure the fan side on this is good. So, Celsius, no. UF, and this is gonna be my fan because it's got less terminals, 4.7. Good enough for now, because this system probably doesn't have much more life. Now, I didn't have what I should have had on me, so I'm gonna make this work. I'm gonna put everything. I ran out of turbos. I had my last one. I had an empty box in my truck. Gotta love it. I used it earlier and I didn't get to restock. So what I'm gonna do 
to make my own turbo 200 with these two capacitors. What I have here, this one here, is a 10, I mean a 30, 30 microfarad. This one's a 10 microfarad. So what's gonna happen is I just made my own turbo. Let's make one capacitor out of two. I need a 40. Kinda sucks, now I've got three capacitors in this unit. But I gotta give them AC, it's Friday, everything's shut. All supply houses are shut, everything's shut. And I really just don't wanna run to my house to get it. So, I'm gonna make this work. I mean, this is what people would do all the time before Turbo 200s came out. You didn't have the right size, well, you built the capacitor to the size. Okay, now, what I'm gonna have to do though is here is connect from here to here and then the wire going to the Herm to the other side. Let's first connect yellow, I mean red. We're gonna come up with the red wire to the center. That's gonna power that. My fan to my fan. Okay. That's good. So, now what I'm gonna do is I need a yellow wire. Got one, one of these yellows. I'm gonna connect to here. Okay, it's like a pigtail. I'm gonna leave it hanging. So, now what I'm gonna have to do is mount this. Do, 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 do. Nah, I didn't leave enough slack to flip it. But let's get it in. So here we go, we're gonna put this back. Gonna screw in place. I'm gonna start the back. Hmm, I wonder what's loose. Cause I don't think I touched anything there. But it clicked. I'm hoping nobody inside's playing with the stat. I will look into that in a second to see if something's loose. And if so, if that was bouncing the capacitor, the contactor on and off. Okay, that's in. Next screw. Now we're gonna have this inside here. That I'm gonna fix that wire. I don't like how it looks. <laughs> hmm. I just don't like this bracket. So. I'm gonna cut it, because I don't like it. I'm gonna make it a little smaller. Under, say, I put the fold. Okay, right there. I could always get that out of my way. I got a screw hole right there. Bam, right in. As long as that works, it's golden. Golden, I tell you. But it can't be all over the place. Let's move this blue wire out of my way. When you're hacking, you're hacking. What could I say? This should be good for a hacked up brace. Boom. That's not moving. That's solid. Yeah, hear that? So I'm moving this. What's, what's on the low voltage?
something is making the low voltage click and I'm not touching mm. that seems tight okay a little loose all right I'm gonna cut that end off fix that wire I don't like it I don't like it one bit seems very loose so now with these guys let's get back to the main event that was just a distraction okay so now gotta get this on in here yep 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 okay. <clears throat> He's going. I should really just move this little protector out of the way. Boom! Oh, look at how easy it became when I did that. Oh, too easy. Now I take this. Now I'm going to mount it only if this works because the compressor wasn't starting, the capacitor was toast. But what if? Let's just say, worst case scenario, what if the compressor is no good? Okay, I gotta go grab a connector. All right, so let's fix this connector up. I was asked about these, my wire strippers. These are NWSs, these are German style wire strippers. What I like about them compared to the clients is you just grab, you, you go to where you feel. That takes a little bit of time to practice. To feel out how tight to put to pinch it and then pull so literally you're like just pulling back where with the clines and stuff you're going sideways they both work is this really a hundred percent better i'm not gonna say yes but i like it i mean it's just a quick boom stripped so new connector just pop it on I don't even care. Just putting it there. Don't want it to fall off. Good. Tight. All right. Now, let's get it back out of here. And bring it right. Okay. Wrap it around, and we're on. I didn't like that wire being loose, and hopefully that didn't have anything to do with leading up to the problems this old capacitor had with the compressor starting over and over again, possibly. We do not know. But what we do know is let's see if this works. There we go, we're on. We're gonna see if it works, and then I'll show you the cap what I just did. So, here we go. We are on. Boom, perfect. Compressor's starting. Let's let it run for a second. Oh, it's coming on. I'm gonna put most of my tools away. Gotta get ear pods, wires suck. These things get caught on me all the time, I mean, I really just enjoy when I'm working to put some music on and jam and work. Prevents me from making videos often, but what could I say? We all have different crutches on how we like to get through our day. I even like to sometimes watch some YouTube videos while I work. Learn about all different things like cars and all other crazy things that I shouldn't watch. You end up on a rabbit hole. You start on one thing and next thing you know, a couple hours later, it's like, what the hell? Why am I watching this? But, okay, 16.5. Is that warm? It's like 90 something degrees in the house, so.
kind of looks strange. It looks like oil. It's still warm. But I don't have anything. I should get my gauges. But it is real hot inside. And I am feeling heat coming off the top. So. It's always good to throw gauges on, just to see. All right, so. Well, it feels like it's getting a little cooler. Not a lot, but not as warm. A little oily in there. Don't like how that looks. Pop this on. Okay. Phone. I haven't. Okay, let's see. Where the hell is it? Boom. Turn that on. Ugh, let's get update. Yes, I haven't used you in some time, I guess. Used you on my other phone today. Okay, so. Downloading, downloading, downloading. I feel heat off the top. I hate this that it's so slow. I guess it's a callback. I guess it's my fault. That wire was loose. I was just here when I did the contactor. Damn, callback on me. Damn, I suck. Okay, boom. Okay. Oh, pressure 72. Suction line 83. Ugh. Okay, boom. R22. Okay. Superheat is 40. Suction line is 82. But yet, suction pressure 72. There's just so much heat. I don't like that. I'm gonna look for a new cap in my truck. Because that cap has seen better days. Superheat down to 40. Let this run for a minute or two. Section line going up or down. Superheat's dropping, not a lot. So, I'm gonna let it run for two minutes and then see. But you can see the superheat starting to come down. So is the suction temp. Not a lot, but it's gonna take time. That coil's gotta get cold. And it just came on and there's just so much heat getting absorbed on that coil. So, just got to give it a minute or two before I worry about what my pressures are because I am 72. So, and the temperature of my suction's slowly coming down. It's not like it's just staying there. And the superheat's coming down a little. So, I'll give it a couple minutes and then I'll bring you guys back. Right now you can see it's 754. And you can see they are, it's not like they're just sitting there. Okay, so it's 8.02. And we have come down. Super heat's down at 34. And the suction's at 77. So we are dropping. And it's getting colder. There's just a tremendous amount of heat on this. So it's going to take a little time, but I don't want to start throwing gas in. And then when the house cools off, I'm overcharged. There's just so much heat hitting that right now. Kind of almost looks like it's doing nothing though, right? 
77.6 so I'm just gonna come back in a couple minutes when I've let it run but I mean it's not even you see it's like slowly just kind of going it's like watching paint dry so I mean you guys don't want to watch this I just want to make sure I want to give it another like two three minutes probably at maybe like 806 I'll bring you guys back and we'll see where this is because right now it's getting there but you guys will be sitting here watching nothing just numbers slowly move if I don't just turn it off and bring you guys back in a few I mean it just turned 805 and we came down we're at 76 32 so like I said this is just gonna take a little bit of time and if you try to charge it up too fast when you first bring on a system you're gonna end up overcharged like there's a guy all his videos are about like machines that are hacked up and screwed up and guys messing them up well he probably like charges them up when it's running like this and boom next thing you know it's overcharged but nah I know nothing of nothing I am just myself I will only screw up what I can by accident sucks I'm on a call back but I'm gonna make sure it's good before I leave and why put 22 in a machine that may not need it you know what I'm saying it probably does not need it at all and this machine is just purring away just purring away unfortunately it's gonna be replaced at the end of this year if it makes it that long but I mean it's just purring away as that slowly comes down like I said it's like watching paint dry so I'm not gonna punish you guys I just wanted to bring you back and show you that all right a little time has passed it's 8 20. i'm at 70 degrees suction line 28 superheat 71 is my suction pressure so i mean i'm getting there i'm gonna go inside gotta check the attic real fast just check a split on the unit because i mean i know everybody's gonna be like it's too high but it's also 90 something degrees in the house still so I mean, you can see that my superheat is down at 21. It's 834. I'm going to say I'm pretty good. House temperature has come down 3 degrees so far. But, I mean, suction pipe has dropped also. So, suction pipe is down at 65. It's doing really good. So, 63 actually, it's down to... So, I mean, no at, not adding any gas. Just giving it time. That's why sometimes patience is a virtue. If I started dumping gas and think of how overcharged this thing would be as the house started to come down a little, as the coil got colder and colder from working, as it's removing some of that moisture, some of that latent and sensible heat out of the air. Oh, I'm just gonna check the attic. So the house dropped quite a bit inside gonna have to now mount these capacitors and let's see what do we come down to since we've been running we got almost 12 degrees superheat so 12 degrees 51 suction so I mean it's pumping away it's cooling and the house is down about 80 degrees or so it's 90 something when we started so that's why I don't add gas let a house cool off a little bit when it's too hot your pressures and your temperatures of everything will actually be higher than they should be until you get the house cooled down so now i just have to mount that and i'm done 